Hey everybody, I'm Taylor, Barry Taylor, this is Spafford, Jamie Spaff. Today, two chefs, one pizza oven, and it's nothing like the other video you're thinking about. Oh. A few months ago, the guys got James and I to review this. The G3 Ferrari G1006 Delizia Pizza Oven in red. Recommended retail price, $99.99. And to ensure a fair, unbiased test, they gave us a frozen pizza. Did it work? Who cares? It was a frozen pizza. But you guys commented in your hundreds, asking us to test it properly with a proper homemade pizza. And because it heats up to well over 400 degrees Celsius, way higher than any domestic oven, we wondered what else we could test. I've got some pizza dough that I made. It's risen. It's deflated a little bit since I dropped it. And now I'm gonna roll it out. I reckon we're probably only two or three minutes off being able to go with this. What it says is the pilot light should be on. So if it's heated up to a point where it's gone off, then we actually need to just cool it down a bit. So Looking good so far. Oh, timer. I'm hoping the crust gets nice and crispy in the time, but it has to put some colour on the top as well, otherwise there's no point. Which, you know when they do a big paddle and a big pizza oven and then yeah. they lift it to the top of the oven for the last yeah, few yeah, seconds? Yeah, yeah. That's to get that cheese. In theory, <laughs> that is already close to the top. That was the ping. It was only three minutes and it said it might need up to four, so it might not be ready, but I'm just going to test it. That, that yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm, good. Do you know what, James? I think right. my tomatoes were a little bit too wet. Oh, it's bubbling. It's bubbling, it's bubbling. Well. So that's quite important. Oh, oh do you know what? It's worked. That's good. Straight off, I can hold it by its very tip, and the base is crisp enough that it's not just flopping. There is no way you could achieve that beautiful, crispy base, got a little bit of semolina and salt in the bottom, in an oven at home in the same time. It would take a good 10 minutes longer. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Like, we use that dough a lot um, for pizza. That's basically our go-to. And I don't think we've ever really got that um, that result before. Yeah, it works. Just don't put a bloody frozen pizza on it. Cheers. Cheers. And now I'm intrigued to see what else we can cook in it. I'm thinking first up, super simple beer snack, padron peppers. So obviously you preheat it, it's got the pizza stone in the bottom and the heating element in the top. It's got temperature between zero and three. We don't really know what the temperature is. We've been working about two and a half. And it's got a timer that goes up to five minutes. Again, three and a half, four minutes has been where we've been at. It's as simple as that. Yeah, pop. Normally you want the char from lapping flames or a cast iron griddle. We'll see what we've got here. Also, seasoned extra virgin olive oil to toss them in. They smell good. They do smell good. They've been popping. Oh, that looks good. They're cooked through perhaps more than usual. Mm. There's less of a bite to them, but I wouldn't say no. So I love a roast peach because if there are any peaches that are a little bit firm, they are a beautiful thing to do. Basically, like toss them in like a flavoured sugar and just put them in a tray in the oven. I think it was a recipe that I've used from uh, the Kiappa sisters. And it is so, so good because what is already sweet and juicy is just taken to another level when those sugars caramelise. A couple of those ones, see what happens there. I'm going to do it, James. Drama in the chefs. Oh, we have some black. It worked. It only went and worked. I think the ones on the stone directly didn't work as well. But the ones in the pan look really good. I'm going to suggest it's going to be really hot. Be careful. That is absolutely delicious. And you could absolutely do that in a normal oven. Would you get the same colour? if it had been in the oven for five minutes longer. And still retain the texture. And still get the texture, yeah. What's next? Whole aubergine. That might be touching the roof. <laughs> He's done it. I'm gonna prep some goat's cheese mushrooms with a rose harissa on the top. And in theory, four or five minutes in that oven, job done. What is rose harissa? 
So it's rose petals blended in with harissa. If you're having a dinner party, Cheers. this can just be ticking the whole time, and when it dings, it's like, it's ready! I know why I'm acting like this. Because I watched my first ever episode of Queer Eye last night, and I loved it. Oh, hasn't stuck. Looking good. There you go. I'm putting his mushrooms in. That'll do, won't it? Whether it's any better than an oven, I don't know. But it's half the time. I'm warming to this thing now, based on speed. I can tell. I'm starting to feel like the awkward third wheel. Mmm, what is that? Actually, that aubergine is really good, even on its own. Like, aubergine plus loads and loads and loads of extra virgin olive oil works really beautifully. But that is the perfect texture for a baked aubergine. Do I want that sat on my, sat on my work top? Do I need it? Can it go in the oven? I'm very, I'm a very confused man right now. Rose harissa, goat's cheese, mushrooms. Five minutes, done. The goat's cheese should be melted. The mushrooms should be cooked through, but shouldn't be going kind of slimy almost. It's done everything that I wanted it to do. Like the mushrooms are firm, the goat's cheese is completely melted. Everything's coming together in my mouth. Everyone here knows that that's going to taste good because it's mushrooms and goat's cheese. Do you reckon scallops straight on the stone? Or do they need to be off the stone in our cast iron? Do one of each. Do one about of each. But on the stone. I'm in full panic mode. Full panic mode because I don't want to ruin scallops. Normally it's so quick to cook anyway. There's no real benefit of having done the scallop in there. Absolutely not. I, First one of question. Yeah, I would actually say no, it's not better than the pan. Okay, so um, this time instead of putting it straight onto the stone, I've put a cast iron griddle pan with a little bit of oil onto the stone. I'm not thing. sure I like that. No, I think maybe lid up. Yeah, that's spitting a lot, yeah. I'm going to say this is not good. Scallops, no. Next up, some raw uh, king prawns. What I've done is marinate them in a red pesto, so a sun-dried tomato pesto, and then skewer them, five to skewer, and we're going to put them straight down on the stone and see what happens. So that was quick. I did not expect it to be that quick. Looks good. Oh God, I'm going to say again, I want a bit more colour. I want a bit more colour that you'd get from like a grill or something. I would never think of putting sun dried tomato pesto on prawns. The prawns are perfectly cooked. Um, meaty, sweet, um, juicy. It's, that, that is how you want a prawn to be cooked. This is the slightly more ridiculous big finale. <laughs> A whole fish. Only we could do a big finale where we just cook a whole fish. Well, I, it's, it's definitely not meant for this thing, but I just it's wonder not. what would happen. As I'm going to call it. It's going to be, it's going to be steamed. And we're going to love the flesh. The skin is just not going to work. It doesn't fit. I don't think it's going to fit, James. Yeah. It's going to, going to hang out there, but we, it's fine. Love. What do you reckon? Three minutes. <laughs> It's smelling like barbecued fish, and that's why I like, especially the tail end where it's a little bit thinner, it crisps up a little bit more. And if we get that, we're on to a winner. Yeah. It did it. That. Oh, it's, it's kind of crisp, it's almost crispy. I oh, got you. you got it, you got it, you I got, got you. it. First off, will the skin pull back nicely? To reveal oh, nice. beautifully cooked flesh. I don't know if you can tell, but Ben is so excited right now. That 100% worked. You can cook a sea bass in a pizza oven. And again, you can do that in the oven. It will probably take 15, and in that time, it begins to dry out a little bit because of the nature of being in there for twice as long. What you get out of that is very speedy cooking. You guys asked us to test this again after we did it the first time. Um, have we done it properly? Have we done it justice? I don't think we could test it any more than we've tested it. 
I'm still not sure if this is a fair experiment because I came at it wanting it to work <laughs> and wanting a lot of these things to work. However, I do think it has delivered on most of the things we've put in there in half the time it would take and the product has been awesome. I mean, obviously I didn't think too much of it to begin with um, because it burned the bottom of the pizza and obviously I wouldn't burn something. So it must have been the pizza oven's fault. But after this day, for homemade pizza, it's great. Again, it's not entirely up to us. What do you guys think? That was a good day. Now, earlier this week, we started sending out our new cookbook, Can't Be Off To Cook, and you guys are receiving it, and it's looking pretty good. Check out some of these. If you have no idea what these books are all about, or the Sorted Club that we're running, go to sorted.club and go check it out, and come sign up. Speaking of coming and signing up, um, I think everyone's already signed up for a dad joke of the week, haven't no, they? No, people haven't got a choice, but yeah. they no matter what. Have you heard about the new garlic diet? No, I haven't heard about the new garlic diet, Jamie. Well, supposedly you eat five cloves of garlic for every meal. You don't really lose much weight, but uh, apparently you look thinner from a distance. Because uh, you stink. You stink. Yeah, but what happens when you already stink? Like? Oh, I'll see you on Wednesday about me for another video and we will find out. Bye! As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends, so if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks, and see you in a few days. We should play like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> Do you have a uniform? <laughs>